This is the integral battle between these two twins. I will show you guys two ways to do that, okay? For the first one, the integral 1 over 1 minus x squared, I will do this with a more traditional way for you guys. As you can see, on the top is an 1, it's non x. Otherwise, I can just do that by u sub, right? And this is a minus, it's not a plus. If this is a plus, then 1 over 1 plus x squared. We know the integral for that is just inverse tangent x, so that's nice as well. In this case, you see, we can actually factor the denominator 1 minus x squared. Let me factor this as 1 plus x times 1 minus x. And the idea here is that we can break this fraction into two little fractions, and the first fraction will have this for the denominator, and the second little fraction will have that for the denominator. And the process for that is called the partial fraction, right? And let me show you guys um, the easiest way to do partial fraction whenever the denominator can be factored into different linear factors, okay? As long as you make sure the top degree is less than the bottom degree, and then the denominators here, these factors are different, and then they are linear factors, you can use the following method. I would just like to demonstrate the quickest way right here. I will make another video for you guys for the um, complete summary of partial fractions. Here we go. I'm going to integrate two little fractions instead. The first fraction will have this for the denominator, 1 plus x, but I don't know what number goes on the top. Let me not put it down, okay? Usually put, uh, people put on a, but I'm just going to leave it. And then we're going to combine with the second fraction with 1 minus x for the denominator. And once again, I don't know what that number is on the top, so let me leave it. And this is how I'm going to figure out what this number should be. Well, as you can see, 1 plus x, right? That's the denominator. We are going to look back to the original fraction. And then you see this right here, they match, right? What you're going to do is use your hand, use your finger, whatsoever, cover up the same factor. I want to cover this up, okay? And then you have to ask yourself, how can you make your hand equal to zero? How can you make this factor equal to zero? The factor that you covered it up. Well, one plus, this is a one plus x equals to zero. X has to be negative one, right? So when you covered this up, you have to let x is equal to negative one but this is gone already, what you have to do is plug in negative 1 into the remaining x. So we have 1 on the top over 1 minus negative 1, which is the same as 1 plus 1, which is 2. So once you cover this up, you get 1 over 2, and that's the number right here. So that's one half. That's it. This is called the cover up method. And as I said, I will make a video for you guys, the um, complete summary for how to do partial fraction so <laughs> anyways for this one we have one minus x we refer back to the original use our hand cover this up and ask yourself how can you make your hand equal to zero this is one minus x well x has to be one right and you're plugging one into this x and you have one over one plus one which is two on the bottom so you have one half again that's it. All right, so we are good. And now we can take the one half out because both of them have one half. So let me just factor the out to the front and then we can integrate the first one, which is one over one plus x. And the second one is plus one over one minus x, right? So this is the integral we have to do. So let's go ahead, this is one half. For the first one, you know this is going to give us ln absolute value one plus x. Right? And what's the integral of this? The integral of 1 over 1 minus x. You have to check what's the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of the bottom is negative 1. Okay, it's a number negative 1. You have to divide it by that number. So it's actually going to be a minus ln absolute value that 1 minus x. Okay, and then so the parentheses. And the reason I didn't need to worry earlier is because the derivative of the bottom right here for the first fraction is 1. So dividing by 1 doesn't affect anything. So that's it. But um, you see we have two LNs 
and with a subtraction in between. So we can put them together as a division. So this is going to give us 1 half ln with a bigger absolute value. On the top, let me put down 1 plus x. And this is a division inside of the ln, and then we put down that 1 minus x in the denominator, and then we are all done. At the end, we put plus c, and this is it. Okay, this integral happens a lot, so you should know how to integrate this. Okay, and let me show you how we can do the same exact integral within one second. The integral of 1 over 1 minus x squared. Once again, notice that this is a minus, it's not a plus. If this is a minus right here, which it is, the answer to this is the inverse tens with an h, the inverse hyperbolic tangent x, and then we are done. It will just really take you one second if you have learned about the hyperbolic functions and their inverses. Inverse hyperbolic tangent x for that. So it depends on what you have covered. If you haven't covered this, then you have to do, do this for getting the answer for that integral. But then once you know about the uh, hyperbolic functions and the inverse and the derivative and then the integrals, this is a legitimate answer. Takes you one second, but this was fun as well. <laughs>